praise the style conduct of the Elite Model Look 2012 attendees. We reveal five ways not, and I repeat not, to wear animal print, and find out if the stylists need a dose of their own medicine. We check out some unforgettable fashion statements, and we'll also get our style trackers on the fabulous Tiwa Savage. See what she's wearing. Welcome to Glam Squad. This week, we hit the red carpet of the Elite Model Look Search Competition 2012. Just from the name of this event, Elite Model Look. You would think everybody turned out glamorous, but you could be surprised. Ladies, what do you think? I'm hopeful. Hmm? I think. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. This event was themed black and white, so let's see if everyone got the memo. First up, we have the delectable Agbani Dorego wearing Bridget Awoshika in white. Ooh, what do you think about what she was wearing? I love it. I think she looks so beautiful. I think she looks like Miss World, you know? I think that um, obviously it's not a look everybody can pull off. Mm -hmm. That's why she's Miss World. Mm -hmm. I think I like her shoes. I like the length. 10 over 10. I personally thought that it was a nice dress, but I think I needed a little bit more meat on the bone. I think she needed more in the chest area to pull the dress off. I, I, I just, nothing she could do about it. Skinny legs, I, you know, I need a bit more meat for the whole thing. That's, that's just my personal opinion. Up next, we have Lynx, the original Mr. Sock Belly make shit fine. <laughs> hmm. Don't play with this guy, he's a bad guy. What? Women, when they have hot bodies and they want everybody to know what they're wear how it looks underneath, they mm -hmm. wear very tight clothes. <laughs> And this is my favorite segment. It's called What Tiwa Wore. She's beautiful, she's bodacious, and her red carpet swagger doesn't quit. That's why we sent our Glam Squad cameras around to follow her, seeing what she wears. Ladies, what do you think about these pictures that I selected for you? I think she looks amazing. I think she looks beautiful. She looks classy. I like the one-armed uh, shirt. I like the thin black belt and the, you know, the wide leg pants. And her hair pulled back. I think she looks she looks fine. It's um yeah. you know I, I assume it's appropriate for the event. She she looks comfortable. She looks she looks sweet. Yeah, you're right. I I think yeah. she looks sweet. It's not I don't think this is one of her star quality outfits. I think that she does she has potential to do a lot more. What what do we have next? What do you think of Kiki Kamanu's outfit when she came to say hi in her Kiki Kamanu outfit? I love Reese and Kiki actually. I think she looks like Kiki. I love that t-shirt, the whole I'm um, supporting Obama, I've got his back. I thought it was really, you know, it was very apt for the time and I loved her collection and I loved what she was wearing to finish it off. So. Next up we have Maureen Ikogu Okogu of Sunny Rose. What do you guys think? I would love to see Maureen making some more use of her fantastic figure. She has a designer's figure and, she and she's a designer. Sorry. Yet she doesn't, you know, I don't feel that she does as much as she could. You know, she doesn't look as glamorous as she could in this in this photograph and in this outfit. Now you know that the Glam Squad cameras are never far from you, even though you think we're not looking. We were at movie premiere recently. We have Belinda Effa in some kind of dress. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. <laughs> it looks like a waffle. I've never met a green waffle. I've never met a more ambitious dress, basically. I don't know what it was trying to do, but it, it bottom line wasn't flattering. I kind of like a dress. Yeah, I do too. I like her haircut with the dress. I think she just looks cute. Everything. Adorable, the adorable, adorable, adorable. The only adorable. problem I have is, why is she on the red carpet? She hasn't sung anything in ages. Leave her. Ciao. Seriously. It's like, if you're going to look this good, at least have like 10 hot tracks currently burning up the airways. I think she's working you know, on something. She better be under that train. There has to be so much more going on. And now, Santa is going to make an appearance on Glam Squad. Ready? I'm here! I'm Santa! Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give out gifts. Aww. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you who the best dressed is okay. on the show. Who is? No, I'm not. You guys are going to choose. Oh, we vote. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um, let's see. I will go for the lady called Mochetta in that green dress. Mochetta without the hits? That Mochetta? 
That mochetta. Okay. Okay, nice. my favorite is actually from Bring On The Bling. I blatantly loved Rita Dominic's outfit. I know it's like totally out of left field, but it was gorgeous. I loved the color. I loved, I loved how she looked. I loved her turban. I was like, this is how to, you know, and it's, it's made in Nigeria. That was so, a nice look. Yeah, she's nice. I like um, Bez. He's always doing this preppy look. He's always got the hat on. Yeah. He's got the thick glasses, which I do He's believe are medicated. Sad. So we like him. We yeah. Him. All right, you know, this is Bez's look. It's his signature look. He has the hat on, you know, um, the jacket, his shirt and the tennis shoes, it's working for him. Um, I think, I'd like to see something different this year. That's exactly what I you was know? going to say. Do you know I what? think he's... This year, my resolution, before I even go further, is to say exactly what I feel. So everyone knows that Glam Squad, not to say we're not corporate or anything, but you know, corporate is not really the way we look. That's not how we dress. The beautiful Blessing in Blue from First Bank. And Unika, who's beside you? And next to me, we have Handsome Mark in his first bank gray. I really like how you're coordinating today. Um, you look very yeah. nice. Actually, this is how we, we, we dress um, on Fridays. Oh, we dress down Fridays. so this is, a, this is a casual look for yeah, you? Casual look, yes, okay. wow. um, without time. Now, Mark and Blessing are going to be going through a couple of looks that we've put together on Glam Squad. What we think are our interpretations of corporate, and then we'll have them see what they think. They're going to give us their opinions. And for the first time, we will not be the ones doing the judging. Yes, before I go into talk about how she's dressed, let me just clarify that we uh, corporate dressing, there really is no hard and fast rule about how one should look. But what one should try to do is to find out what image the organization you're working for is trying to project and then you align your own dressing and your own personal branding to suit that. What she's wearing suits her. She's very slim. You can see she's on the slim side. Mm -hmm. She's got her hair uh, very short. She, she, she's, she's wearing a corporate shirt with a pencil skirt, very tailored. Mm -hmm. She looks very professional. She, I mean, she can have her jacket hanging by her desk. Now this, this, I, I think that this is a more appropriate look for a banker on a Monday morning. Yeah, this it's is very tailored, very, very professional. Yeah. The skirt is not too short, and mm -hmm. it's just okay. I think it, um, it depends on um, you know the the physique of, of the individual. You know, um, it may fit. You know, depending on you know the body size. Um, but for, for this particular one, I, I think this is perfect, and then you can actually really you know use the same standard for um, someone that is maybe a bit larger yeah. lady. What is the appropriate hair to have? Um, you should have it low, you know. Um, although you, you see, you find in the organization, um, some people have, you know, high hair and then, you know, they, they want to keep the punk thing and all that. But um, um, it, it's, most times it's always good to just, you know, keep it very professional and very, you know, conventional. We have actress slash model, Kendra Atefuma in a rumpus suit. What do you think? I think she's showing too much skin. If you're gonna show arms, you can't show legs. If you're gonna go show legs, you shouldn't show arms. And if you're gonna show arms and you're gonna show legs, don't show people. She's showing <laughs> arms, she's showing legs, she's showing people. You're like, ah, it's chill now. Oh God, do you know what I've learned? When you're coming to black carpet, red carpet, award ceremony, keep the play suits at home or else you'll be mistaken for a play girl. We love it when our female celebrities go all out, make huge bold fashion statements on the red carpet, but every once in a while they get caught taking the leaf out of someone else's book, which begs the question, who was the better wearer? Now we have a three-way between Toke, Alexandra, and Amaomi wearing a beautiful lace House of Mwocha dress. Um, we're gonna see who wore it best. Ladies, what do you think? Toka is, this is from Fab Awards as well. Yeah. Saw her that night. Um, the dress is okay. The thing is, I, as soon as I saw this dress, I was like, no, how could she? This dress has been done. It's been done like so many times. If it were from the new line, Omomi Akinifesi wore that dress at least two years ago. Wow. So if it's, yeah. it, it, in terms of length, time, 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 it's, it's been a while. Who wore it best? Um, well, I would say though, Alexandra, on her, maybe because she's taller than all of them, she looks like she's choking in a bed sheet, a turquoise bed sheet. Wow. Um, on me, uh, I don't know. On the mommy, um, you know, because of mommy wore it first, I would probably have to give it to a mommy. You know, she was the first wearer of the dress, so yeah. Who would you give it to? I'd give it to her as well, actually. I like the way she um, styled her hair and um, like, you know, because it's like 
the dress is all the way up to here. I like the fact that she yes. took a curl curve of her yes, um, head. Yes, so that too. I'll give it to her. Yeah, we have Tony Dolls. 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 You know we love her. It's Dolls. Tony. Dolls. Wearing a House of Nwacha mm -hmm. ensemble. Ha, huh. okay. Let me tell you what. I have a song for this look. Uh oh. I like big. But then I cannot lie. Uh uh. You did not. You did not just go. I did. She looks like Cleopatra hot ass. The dress is not appropriate for. <laughs> it's not a, appropriate for. <laughs> Tommy Tom! body. Like she, she got a nice body, girl. Yeah. She needed to that, be a flat chested. That dress is wild. Tony. That dress is wild. You crazy. are stunning. But you need to have a bit more humility in you. I think that she <laughs> needs to be a bit more that. humble in her red carpet choices. For having the glam squad. Thank you for joining us, baby. Yes. See you soon. Happy so, day. ladies, let's raise our glasses and toast again to glam squad. To glam, glam squad. squad. To glam squad. Cheers, Huawei. Cheers. 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 Bottoms up. <laughs> So up next, we'll see the style. You got it. So up. <laughs> <laughs> People have killed this poor girl. Okay. <laughs> so up next, we'll reveal the style revolution of big girls. <laughs> big girls. <laughs> big girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 come on, let's just do it again. I'm sweating. So am I. <laughs>